I feel like people nowadays are literally going through so much that they don't even have time to share their feelings on what they're going through. They're just trying to like get through it any way they can. So if you're going through something, um, just stay positive, stay motivated, stay hungry. I mean, keep doing what you're doing. If you have a job, whether it's a nine to five, whether it's a a side hustle whether you're in college whether you're in school uh, whatever it is you're doing stick with that keep that going especially if you don't know how you feel like I mean what I'm what I, what I mean by that is what is it that you really want out of life like you might be feeling lost you might be feeling down and realistically speaking you don't know how to like get over that feeling so just be just be humble and just just kind of just like Stick with what you have going on because it's better than nothing. There's people out here that don't have jobs, you know, and are not even feeling good about themselves and really don't even know if tomorrow is going to come, if that makes sense. So, you know, and that's true that tomorrow is never promised. So definitely take that into consideration and stay positive, stay strong. Again, whatever it is you're going through, it could be a lot worse. It could be really sad. It can, you know, you could you could get up tomorrow and not even, you know, have the same energy you do now the day before. But just be grateful, you know, and just be happy with what you do have. And if you do feel like you need a moment, you need some time away, or you need to recollect your thoughts, then... I suggest, you know, if you if you can't figure it, if you cannot figure this out on your own, maybe talking to somebody who who's a professional. You know, I mean, I hate I never thought in a million years that I would be saying this, but talking to somebody who's a professional who actually understands what you're going through helps a lot. Um, writing down your thoughts, maybe what you're going through, expressing yourself on paper. You know to actually read your thoughts on a piece of paper makes a difference because you can figure that out like figure out how to make that situation better whether it's you know you getting some more resources for that or getting help for that or just whatever it is you're going through write it down you know so you remember you can hey you look back at it too like you know 48 hours after that you look back at that piece of paper like damn i was really going through that two two days ago and you feel completely different about it two days later so sometimes you just have to like you know write down your thoughts um another thing i can i can recommend for you guys and again i'm not a professional i'm just going off of what i experienced it's going out and taking walks in nature like if you are truly truly down you feel depressed you feel like your world is coming to an end you feel like you don't know how to make your situation better you just got to get out there and take a walk whether it's in the morning time i mean preferably in the morning time it's better because of the fact it's way before you start your day you know i would say before you even eat breakfast whether it's a 10 minute walk whether it's a 15 to 20 minutes walk whether it's a 30 minutes walk just go for a nice walk and that'll definitely affect your day <clears throat> excuse me that'll definitely affect your way a little bit different um, because now you'll be more energized you'll have a different idea of how you want your day to go and it'll kind of get you on your feet and moving you know whether you have something planned for that day or not that'll be something that'll start your day off for um you know some good things to come and to be honest the last thing i would suggest is pretty much like figure out who you are i mean have a con this is gonna sound crazy but have conversations in your with yourself tell yourself that you are worth it you are good you are better than people think you are people say you are just be more positive about the life you have and the people that surround you. 
and maybe some days you know look back and i mean even document some of these things about yourself and just don't focus on developing on the past just be more positive about what you have i mean i know i probably said this already and i know i'm repeating myself but i'm just trying to help you guys understand that depression is real it can affect people in so many ways that they don't even know i mean from mentally to just your physical health you know from the from being depressed you might not want to eat you might not want to do things that you have to do you know you're, you're forcefully force yourself to do those things and then you're like i didn't even want to do that you know but because you had to do it you kind of do it you know but again if you feel like you might be going through it trust me you're not the only one there's thousands and thousands of people that are probably going through the same thing as you um and also you know going online and watching people tell their stories and hear their reactions and see how you know they handle it helps a lot too even though you don't want to get lost and listen to other people vent and watch their stories because you might forget to even figure yourself out but it does help for the time being um but yeah again guys depression is real you know there are certain signs that you should not neglect you should try to get help if you need it. But the best way to help yourself is to stay positive. And another thing is, if you haven't already done so, add this on your daily agenda. Go exercise. Go exercise. Don't think too much about what it might do, what it might not do. If you, if you feel like you're lazy, it's okay. Start somewhere, start small. You know, don't have to jump out there and do two hours of workouts your first week or your first day of going to the gym. Or you don't even have to get a membership for a gym. You can literally start working out at your house and just do it. You know, go for a run. Like I said, that morning walk will help for sure, for starters. So if you're going through it and you feel like you need to get some help you feel like you don't know where to start where to begin then if you're watching this video if you can't take anything else from this video take this start going for your start going for a walk in the morning time heck if you can't go in the morning time do it at night time before you go to bed or even when you go on your break if you work somewhere where you have you work at an office you get a 30 minute break to an hour you know, it only takes about five to 10 minutes to eat. The other time you have for your break, go out and spend it in, in, in out, you know, in the nature. If you don't have really a, a nature park, you don't have a, a park nearby, then go somewhere like, you know, just walk around and get yourself loose and burn some calories. I mean, I'm not saying that you guys are a fat or need need to lose weight. If you do need to lose weight, then lose weight. That might be one of your one of your reasons that you might be depressed i mean we all have our reasons you know if somebody somebody who's been slim and fit their whole life all of a sudden they gain 10 pounds and 20 pounds more right after that and they don't know how to lose that that can really take a toll on your mental health um but i'm gonna finish this video out guys i just wanted to say to you guys how i feel about depression and what is depression um and to be honest i might have missed out a few things but if there's something you think i missed out drop a comment below i want to know what's your meaning of depression uh, you don't have to tell me if you actually go through depression or not that's your personal business but if you choose to share your thoughts on that i am open to reading the comments and i actually want to get to know my viewers because i plan on making this channel i plan on growing this channel to the point where I actually know my viewers and I'm actually, you know, building a relationship with you guys because truly I'm doing this for you guys. Like I love making videos. I, and again, if you've probably seen my other videos, I don't really have a niche on this channel, but who's to say I might not, who's to say I might not find my niche in, you know, six months from now or two weeks from now, a year from now, who's to say? But the reality is like, I'm here for you guys. If you guys are going through stuff, 
then just reach out if you need to. You have my Instagram, um, Momi the Prince. I'm gonna put that in the description below. M O M I S underscore T H E underscore Prince. Or you can again drop a comment below under my YouTube video that you're gonna be seeing that you are watching this video exactly. But before I go, honestly, I can I can talk about this forever because this is such a, a huge topic and a lot of people don't discuss it and don't talk about it enough. If you have family members that you can be close to, you are close to, you can reach out to, then do that. Because a lot of times people are afraid of reaching out to people because they don't know how they might judge them or how they might use their business against them. You know, and that's why earlier in the video I said talk to a professional because that's their job. So reality is they're not legally allowed to share your business with anybody but you know reaching out to a family member can help a lot too especially like if it's an auntie if it's a, a uncle or if it's a long cousin like a like a, a cousin that you've been really close with growing up they might be going through it and they might have already went through something like this and they might be able to actually help you out in ways that you can't even imagine you know but this is gonna be it for this video ladies and gentlemen if this video helped you guys in any way please give it a like and if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. It'll help me out a lot. And if you feel like somebody can, somebody else can take something from this video and actually learn from this video, please share it with them, whether it's a friend or a family member. Uh, but my name is Momi, and thanks for watching this video. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Have a blessed night and stay wonderful and stay healthy. Stay, stay happy. No matter what, stay happy and take care of yourself. I will see you guys on the next one.